Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Haley Estes. I blog at mountainviewcottage.net where I share farmhouse inspired DIY decor and organization videos. Today I'm going to be showing you how to paint a dresser in chalk paint that has already previously been painted. Now I've already done all the prep work for this dresser. I will link that video in the description of this one so that you can see how to prep your furniture if it's previously been painted. But today we're gonna go in with the paint. chalk paint. I have used this on several different pieces in the past and after using other chalk paint brands this is hands down my most favorite one. This dresser is going to be for my boys. The reason I'm painting over the paint is just simply because I'm giving their room a makeover and the color no longer works with their color scheme. So we're going to be painting it in this really beautiful rich dark gray. The color is good man is hard to find so you can find most of the Amy Howard paints are at Ace Hardware stores, but I'm pretty sure there's also some online retailers as well. So I'll link that in the description of this video. As always, give this video a like if you enjoy it, and follow my page for more farmhouse inspired DIY and decor videos just like this one. This is part of a series, an introduction to furniture painting. Those videos are going live every Thursday at 6 a.m. Mountain Standard Time on my blog and YouTube channel. If you've missed them, I will link the playlist of all the videos that I've already shared in the description of this video as well. So let's go ahead and just get started. Using a paint stick, really stir your can of paint. If you don't, you're not gonna have the right color or consistency because the paint will have settled funny at the bottom and it will not be properly mixed for you to begin painting. You'll have a really funny translucent layer, it will be streaky, and you just wanna make sure that it's nice and mixed so you have the right consistency and you don't start having problems when you've just begun. I like to start at the top of the dresser and work my way down. That way if any paint drips, I can easily paint it and smooth it out before it dries when I get to the next parts of the dresser. Another thing you really want to keep in mind is that you don't need to completely cover it with your first coat. Just go in with a really smooth, even layer and then build on that once each layer has dried. Otherwise, your paint is gonna start kind of peeling up underneath the coats that you've already painted because it's not fully dry. That is as much as I'm gonna do on the top right now, and we're gonna move on to a different area of the dresser. Once again, just really soft, smooth, light layers to begin with, and then you will build on those. Also, I am not gonna worry at all about these edges because I will go in with my paintbrush and do those. You wanna be careful not to press your roller down too hard. If you do, it won't roll and it will also kind of leave these marks where the paint builds up on the end. So just be careful as you're going that you're paying attention and you aren't leaving those roller marks on your dresser. We're just gonna come over to the other side and do the same thing. dresser and you could tell that it left a little scratch mark so I simply just kind of pounced the tip of my roller on that area that where the paint came off and now I'm just covering it so that you can't tell. So I don't go on the edge pieces first. I do those last because that way my roller has the least amount of paint on it and it's not going to really bunch up on this edge. If you do happen to get buildup on the top, like you can see right here, it's super easy to fix. Just make sure that you roll your paint roller all along the edge really softly because you don't want to have buildup on the bottom and it'll just smooth it right away. We are now gonna go in and paint the drawers. I'm just gonna kind of run the tip of my roller 
on these detail pieces because paint is building up and I don't want that to happen. When you're loading up your paint roller, you want to make sure it's not dripping or it's going to drip all over your furniture. So I'm just kind of getting the paint on there with the tip of my roller and then I'm rolling it out so that it is that consistent texture of being rolled versus dragged on. Just makes it easier on a portion like this where it's got this detailed edge on it. And then you also don't want to forget the tops as well as the sides. Now I'm gonna move on to the second drawer. This one will be easier because it's completely flat. On an area like this that's a lot more flat and doesn't have these details like the top drawer, I'm not afraid to load up my roller a little bit heavier with paint and do a bit of a thicker coat. Whereas on these detailed areas, I want to do a really light coat so that I can avoid the paint building up in some of these detailed areas. I'm back looking at the top drawer and you can see that it's starting to kind of build up a little bit in these detailed corners. I'm just going to take a dry brush and remove all that excess paint that's starting to pull in the corners. This is gonna make it so everything is nice and smooth and the details don't get lost where paint starts to build up. Something I wanted to bring up in case it gets asked is whether you should keep the drawers of your dresser inside as you paint or whether you should take them out when you're painting your piece of furniture. This is really dependent for me upon what the dresser or the piece of furniture looks like that I'm painting. For this piece, it's a very simplistic piece of furniture. It has a lot of flat surfaces and smooth areas that make it really easy for me to paint with the drawers still inside. Other pieces of furniture that are more detailed or if I'm painting and keeping the hardware on have a tendency to drip and be much more difficult to paint with the drawers still inside. So in those instances, I would take the drawers out. I've now painted the first coat on the entire dresser, except for some of the detailed areas. I'm gonna go ahead and push my drawers back in and paint some of these areas in between the drawers. For this, I'm going to use my paintbrush and I'm gonna fill my paintbrush very lightly with paint so that it doesn't drip inside these drawers. Almost like dry brushing, but not quite. I still have this area on the dresser that's really flat, so I'm gonna quickly go in with my roller on that area since it's really simple. of your feet. These will show, so make sure that you paint each side of them so that they are covered. I have now painted the entire dresser in the first coat. I'm going to go through really quick and just make sure there aren't any dripped areas where the paint is built up in the corners or is dripping somewhere and smooth those out with my roller. And once I'm done with that, I'm gonna completely let the entire first coat dry. Once it's dry, I will come back and I will show you how we proceed with the next coat. Another really quick tip I have for you that's gonna keep your tools lasting longer, especially your paintbrush, is to simply just put them in a gallon size Ziploc bag while you're waiting in between coats for everything to dry so your paintbrush doesn't get all stiff and hardened and neither does your paint roller. Here is how the top is looking after the first coat. You can see some of that paint previously painted on it is seeping through 
but that's okay because we will take care of that in the next few steps. Now that the first coat has dried, I'm gonna very lightly sand over the entire surface of the dresser using a foam sanding block. This is a medium grit foam sanding block. And I'm just gonna smooth it out. This is going to ensure that you have a very buttery, smooth finish when you are completely finished painting. And it's gonna make your top coat go on so much smoother. And it's gonna make the overall appearance of your dresser just look absolutely flawless. Also, this is not to distress the piece, just to smooth it out. Once you've finished really lightly sanding over the first coat with your foam sanding block, you're ready to do coat two. All the hard stuff is pretty much done at this point. The first coat is the most tedious and takes the most time, and the second coat is going to go on super, super smoothly. So I'm just going to apply the second coat the exact same way that I applied the first coat, using my paint roller and my detailed brush. This is the top of the dresser where those areas are poking through where the cream milk paint was painted on it. You can see them all over right here. I'm going to be using the brand Deft, which is a clear wood finish in a satin. And I'm going to simply just brush over these areas using my foam paintbrush that I can just throw away when I'm done on the areas that are popping through with the old paint color. So all you need to do is stir this up and you're ready to go. Now all that poly coat is completely dry, I'm gonna go ahead and go over it with my chalk paint once again. And all of the white paint from the previous paint job that's under this dark gray chalk paint is going to completely disappear like magic. As you can see, all of those spots are now gone. So I've got the entire thing painted in a second coat and I'm really happy with the overall coverage of just two coats. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this finish drying. And then in a subsequent video, I will show you how to distress this piece and some of my tips and tricks that I have for distressing as well as what finish I'm gonna put on it based on where it's gonna be in my house, what it's gonna be used for, so on and so forth. Thank you so much for watching this series. I hope you guys enjoyed this video tutorial on how to paint a piece of furniture that's previously been painted. I hope this gave you some tips and tricks so that you can have some really beautifully painted pieces of furniture in your own home. Thank you for watching. As always, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and follow my channel for more farmhouse inspired DIY decor and organization videos just like this one. This series and introduction to furniture painting will go live every Thursday at 6 a.m. Mountain Standard Time here on my YouTube channel as well as with a corresponding post on my blog. Thanks for watching.